In 2018, our city will commemorate its founding 300 years ago. In celebration, WYS presents this tricentennial moment. For over 40 years, New Orleans was home to the SS President, the last sidewheel steamboat in the nation. Originally named the Cincinnati, the boat was built in 1924 for the packet trade, carrying passengers and freight from Ohio to Kentucky. In 1929, she was acquired by the Streckfuss family, who converted the vessel to the country's largest excursion boat, renaming it the President. Staterooms were torn out to make a two-deck high ballroom with a football field-sized dance floor. In 1941, she left the Upper Mississippi River for a new home port in New Orleans. The President became one of the city's most popular night spots, where 3,000 passengers could enjoy live music during dance and concert cruises. During the 1950s and into the 1960s, the house band was the Crawford Ferguson Night Owls, and through the early 1980s, the boat featured a mix of New Orleans musicians, like the Meters, Dr. John, Alan Toussaint, and big name national acts, including Jerry Lee Lewis, James Brown, U2, Cindy Lauper, and many others. In the mid-1980s, the president was sold and departed for St. Louis, selling her last dinner and dancing cruise in 1990. After operating for several years as a riverboat casino, she was dismantled in 2009 and lies in pieces near Effingham, Illinois. Although the president has been gone from the city for many years, her legacy lives on in the memories of those musical rides down the mighty Mississippi. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection.